Hi guys, Victoria Husid here, and today let's talk about California employees. When you get hired, you need to fill out a form which is called California Employee Withholding Certificate. And I actually got quite a few questions about how to fill out this form because it kind of looks maybe a little bit confusing some people so let's look at it to it and let's see what kind of question is there and how we can fill it up and what are those questions what do they mean but before we do this please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notification from this channel so in order to fill out a form you probably get it from your employer if not you can get it from california employment development department. So let me show you how to find this form. You can go to edd.ca.gov and click on a search. And in a search, you can type employee withholdings. Once you do this, the first form that come up, first link, it's employees withholding allowance certificate. So let's look at it. This is employee withholding allowance certificate form. I like this form because you can do it here online. You can clear the form and you can type. And what's another cool feature about this form that all the pages, whenever you do calculations here, they will automatically pre-populate here. So you would put your first name, last name, your social security, your address, your filing status. Filing status is important because based on your filing status, that's how your tax rate is calculated. Single and married with two income or more, this is the highest, and then it's married with one income, and head of household would be the lowest tax rate. So let's just say it's married couple. So it says here that we need to use a worksheet A, for regular withholding allowance. So let's go to worksheet A, but right here it says allowance for yourself, enter one, that's for you. If you're single, you would leave zero. If you have a spouse, you would put one. If you blind, you would put one, legally blind. If your spouse legally blind, you would again put one. And dependence, amount of dependence, do not include you or your spouse. So if you have kids, amount of the kids that you claim is your dependence on your tax return, you would put it here. So if you have two kids, you would put two. If you claim in your parents is your dependence on your tax return, you would add them again here. So let's just say you have two kids and you have one parent that you're taking care of, you would write three right here. And you see the bottom number changed to five. Let's go back to the beginning of the form. It shows you two and two, which is kind of not right, right? Because you just entered it five. So what's happening is that, uh, let's just say put zero here, you need to refresh your page. So once you refresh the way I refresh it, I put zero into line two and I put zero and I just, click enter and it refreshes all the numbers. So here and now you have it right. Your number one matches your letter F here. So five and five. Now, as far as additional amounts that you want to be withheld, you can put additional amounts here or you might not put and then exemptions from withholdings. In order to be not taxed in California and to be eligible for exemptions, there is a condition that needs to be met to be eligible for exemptions. You need to certify it under penalties that you are not a subject to California withholdings. And you click here and then you put a date. You do need to print it because you need to sign it. The form in itself is not difficult. The way I fill it up always, I usually just put zeros because I do want to pay maximum amount. I don't ever like owing any taxes and I'm okay with getting a refund in the end of the year. But if you would like to break even, then yes, you would go through the exercise. You would do this exercise to figure out 
what is closest amount of taxes you can pay so you come out even at the end of the year. I hope this was helpful and useful. And if you have any comments, please put them down below and I will respond to them. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.